Welcome everybody to our next uh, beam tuning episode, Shape It Till You Make It, uh, which is a very special episode and my first episode too. We are here live at the uh, Laser World of Photonics in Munich 2022. So why don't you join me at our booth here at the Sphericon? So, okay, today I'm proud to present the world's first uh, rectangular beam shaper here live at the trade show in Munich. Uh, you guys might already know our so-called Airy shape, which has the capability to generate round laser beam profiles. And we have now transferred the same principle from the Airy shape to the what we call square shape, because this enables the customer to generate uh, rectangular or squared beam profiles now. So what's special about the square shape? It has been optimized for a wavelength range from 300 to 1600 nanometers. It has a very short overall length of 17.3 millimeters like the Airy shape. It can be easily incorporated with any of the other beam tuning components that are already existing. And you can use it uh, for within the different design wavelengths of 355, 532, 632, 780 and 1064 nanometers. And it's available within the Aspherican Web Shop now. So guys, what do we have here? We're coming from a laser source uh, from a single mode fiber with uh, 632 uh, nanometers. Then we go to a, our spherical here to generate a collimated beam with an output diameter of roughly uh, three millimeters plus. And then we are using uh, two beam expanders with an amplification factor of uh, 0.75 to generate the input beam of 10 millimeters in diameter for the square shape, which you can see here. Okay, and the last one is an additional focusing lens here with a uh, focal length of uh, 100 uh, millimeters. And if I go to this focal area here, uh, you can see the, the focal dot with a size of uh, roughly 50 to 100 micrometers, depending on the focal length here. And if I zoom a bit out of this from this focal area, you can see hopefully the squared section in the middle of the imaging plane here. So what we can see now are different types of top head profiles, donuts and beam wastes along the z-axis after the square shape. And we are starting here uh, with a leaf structure followed by a, a very clean square shape. Then we go over to a Gaussian profile again. And uh, at the end we will see something like a chessboard structure. And it's all for your flexibility, which offers a wide range of applications. And it also looks pretty cool. So if you're looking for possible applications, the square shape has already been tested successfully uh, within material processing, within a process called LIPS, which means laser-induced periodic surface structures, because it enables to bring very defined structures onto uh, metal surfaces, for example. Another application could be microscopy when it comes to stitching pictures with uh, low losses that you generate when you use uh, Gaussian profiles. And uh, of course, like other beam tuning uh, products which can be combined easily uh, within an optical laboratory, uh, we hope that this, uh, that this will be a source for your inspiration if you are an optical designer and engineer. So that's it for today. Um, you can contact me anytime for further more questions regarding all beam tuning products. And we will hopefully see us again during the next episode of Shape It Till You Make It. So bye bye and tschüss.